Hello and welcome. My name is Daniel. I am building a Vans Aircraft RV8 and uh, today I'm working on the rudder. Uh, here I'm marking out uh, the bottom cap strips, not cap strips, but uh, they attach the uh, fiberglass fairing to the uh, rudder structure. Uh, it's two separate pieces cut out of uh, one long piece. Just trying to figure out the dimensions here. And uh, I'm not real good with the uh, tin snips, but uh, it seemed to be the best. Except for the spacer piece, which is a uh, three quarter inch by three and a half inch. Uh, seemed to work better with the bandsaw there. This is the uh, bottom of the rudder. The reinforcement horn, I believe they call it. Uh, there's two uh, sections you have to uh, cut off of it there, just uh, flattening out where the snips had bent it a little bit and deburring. I'm trying something new by moving the camera around as I uh, as I move around. Here we're uh, preparing the lower rudder rib. <coughs> It's a 3 8 inch hole enlarged in it for the uh, heim joint for the uh, uh, to mount the rudder to the uh, vertical stabilizer. This uh, this section was pretty interesting. A um, lot of parts to uh, to go in a small space, and it's kind of a puzzle to put together and uh, and assemble. Uh, it's my wife there found uh, an old heirloom. Continuing with the, uh, the rudder horn lower rib assembly. Uh, it took a few iterations to figure out the uh, order of operations to get that put together. I really enjoyed uh, enjoyed working on that. Uh, it was a definite brain teaser and once it all went together it just kind of all snapped into place and then all literally just clicked. It took, uh, took quite a while to get that all together and then the um, middle and upper reinforcement point, port points for the uh, nut plates for the middle and upper heim joints. Just there I was straightening the 703 rib, the tip rib. Um, as it comes from the factory it's got a bit of a bow in it and you have to flute it some to uh, flatten it back out. That is the rudder counter counter balance mounting strip. Um, took a bit of work to get that to fit into place. You have to uh, flute the uh, 703 rib uh, quite a bit to uh, get, get its mounting holes to match up. Uh, almost uh, did an out of order operation here with the uh, lower fairing mounting strips. Um, always double check the, uh, the build instructions, the build notes. Uh, at this point we're match drilling uh, the web pre-punched holes and uh, here shortly as I work the way through uh, the mini Clecos down there at the bottom here comes the, uh, the rudder skin. trying to get a better angle on things. Uh, Clecoing the uh, skeleton to the uh, to the skin and then flipping over and working my way around uh, crimping, not cr hopefully not crimping, but uh, bending the uh, skin where it needs to be. Maximum visual progress. And then we take it all apart. I'm sure we will here shortly. Uh, not in this video, but Here, match drilling the skin to the uh, horn reinforcement and those lower fairing mounting uh, strips, mounting brackets, get uh, finally get drilled. This is the step I almost uh, jumped ahead on. Uh, it's a little bit interesting. I don't have uh, Clico clamps. I need to get me some. So I'm, I'm using what I have. And uh, 
I'm just happy I didn't wind up drilling myself as I have done in the past. <clears throat> all in all, I think it uh, came out well. Just took uh, take your time and uh, let the drill do the work. Don't uh, don't force it. Uh, if you do force it, you're gonna make things bend and move where they're not supposed to move. And here is Matt's drilling the rudder skin and the main uh, 703 rib. At this point, I'm done for the day and uh, cleaning up something I try to do uh, every couple of days in the shop is just do a good general cleanup. Uh, I try to run a, a neat shop. Lord knows my, uh, my life is not neat. Uh, speaking of which, if you guys have been wondering, I am a firefighter with the uh, local volunteer fire department. And I'm also a paramedic supervisor with the uh, county's uh, ambulance service. Uh, I work uh, one day on, two days off. That's 24 hours on, 48 hours off. So I get a fair amount of build time. And uh, every uh, every two days I get a, all two days worth of, uh, of shop time. Don't always use it, but it's there. And uh, it's been a, been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying this journey so far. All right, that's enough rambling for today. We'll uh, close it out here. And as my wife reminds me uh, off, uh, off camera here, please uh, like, uh, subscribe, and if you have any comments, uh, hit them down in the, uh, I got to do it, as a, uh, a web, a YouTuber I follow always says, down in the doobly-doo. So appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.